And now it's time for a very special episode of No One Wants to Listen to My Podcast. Podcast. Episode 70, Laurie Reviews Jacob's Apartment by Joshua Kemble. Hello. Hello, Laurie. So you've just recently read Jacob's Apartment by Joshua Kemble. I What'd did. you think? I did. I really enjoyed it. Um, a lot of the content was very relatable for me, but I should back up. Um, this type of book, um, graphic novel, comic um, format, is not the typical um, type of book that I read. I am an avid reader, and I'm married to a comic creator. However, um, I don't read a lot of it. And it is definitely a different use of your brain as you're reading, and so, of course, my husband is prolific at reading. I have to work at it. And so even the, the first page, which I know is you know strategically set up in this way to draw you in, and it did draw me in, I had to review it three or four times before I pieced together what was happening. And then from there, the book just flowed. So I, I really enjoyed, uh, it was an enjoyable reading experience. Is it the kind of book you would refer to other people? Absolutely because it has themes um, that everybody can relate to. Um, one of the themes is questioning your faith. Um, is your faith yours and not just what your parents or your uh, youth pastor uh, try to share with you? Um, do you believe it for yourself? Um, what about re relationships when you're in that, you know, the transition age of, you know, 20s? You're trying to figure out who you are, where you're going in life, and then you have these relationships. Who are you? Who is going to be your long term, lifetime partner? Big, huge questions. Also, trying to piece together um, memories from your childhood and, and what happened. And the good, the bad, and the ugly, and how they influenced who you are now. And then finally, um, watching your parents age, or perhaps having a health crisis. What does that mean for you, and how do you cope? Um, one of the, and I'll just expand on the one theme of questioning your faith. The, some of the parts that I could relate to is I, I recall myself as a young girl staring in the mirror and trying to understand who am I? Why am I here? And that's one of the biggest questions he asks in this book. And he doesn't want the pat answers that, that a pastor can give or maybe his parents were giving. He really wants to grapple with what is the purpose? Why did God create man and then having just the safe environment to question that um, sometimes I was in an environment where that wasn't encouraged but then I was in other environments and it's so important that you feel safe to uh, explore that because that's the only way you're going to figure out you know what is it that you believe what is your faith it sounds like this book ticks a lot of boxes is it something that you think many other people that may not be really embedded in the comic world can easily engage with? Absolutely, yes. Um, it's very accessible. Uh, if anything, um, the subject matter is made uh, more easily understood because it is in the format that it is. And he's able to add layers um, that you just could never capture or convey clear enough just by the written word alone. It's that fusion of art and writing together that makes a lot of those points more salient. Exactly. Fantastic. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. That's fantastic, Laura. Is, is, so this is a book you'd recommend. What would you rate it out of five stars? Oh, five stars. Absolutely. Fantastic. Okay, folks, that's our big review for this episode. Thank you, Lori, for doing that. Uh, it's Jacob's Apartment by Joshua Kemble. You can find it online. You can find it at his website, 
please go and check it out, give it a read, and uh, support independent comic creators. Thanks very much.